everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This is the card we're going to make and this is a quad easel card. It's very pretty and of course because there's four sides to it, you need to make each side just as well as you do the first side. On the website you'll find full instructions how to make this card in both centimetres and inches. The pink card is made in inches and the blue one is made from centimetres. That's metric and imperial. You can't use both measurements, you must use one or the other. And for this video I'm going to make the card in inches. So this is what you're going to need to make the card. You're going to need a couple of coloured card or white card for your base. I've used um, silver mirror card and a patterned card to make the top layer um, and again I've used a, a foiled card with silver in it. So from your white card or your coloured base card you're going to cut yourself a square that is seven inches square. Then from my mirror card I've cut another square which is six and three quarter inches and that will get matted on top of the white one and leave just a small border around the edge. Then from the rest of the white card you're going to cut yourself four six inch by three inch strips and you're going to fold each one of them in half and then open it out and from this edge from the right hand edge take it down to the left corner there and crease it with your bone folder and you're going to do that with each one now you've got your four easels ready folded to make and you need to make a part that goes on the top of the easel and if you want to do the same on the bottom then you're going to need to make those as well. So from the white card you're going to cut eight squares at two and three quarters, you're going to cut eight squares at two and a half and eight more squares at two and a quarter and all these will be layered together, mat and layered together, so that you're leaving just a small border around each edge. And you're going to need eight of them. And these will then be added to your easel. So what you need to do is just add your glue to this base part for the bottom one and then you're adding your glue just to this lower triangle and on there you will add your top easel part. Now the glue that I'm using is my absolute favourite, it is Pinflare Glue Gel and with this you get a little key, you also get a syringe. When you need to fill it remove the yellow stopper, pull the syringe out, fill it with your glue, put your syringe back and make sure the glue just comes down to the edge so that there's no air in the tube when you've finished with it and always replace your yellow stopper. Now you can use this as a flat glue or you can use it as a dimensional glue which will give height to your cards um, instead of using foam pads. So you've added the bottom one, you're now going to add the top one. And because it stays wet for a little while it gives you the opportunity just to move things around uh, until you're happy with it. If you use a double sided tape once you've popped it down that's it, it's down I'm afraid. So now we've got the four easels ready to decorate. 
So once you've got your easels made, I find it's easier to decorate the easels before I actually add them to the card. And these are the things that I'm going to put on my four pieces. I've stamped a little first and just to make it a little bit more fancy if you will, I'm just going to doodle an edge. It doesn't need to be straight so you can do all your wiggly lines on it. And that just puts a little border around the edge. I've coloured some flowers using pro markers just to colour the edge and I've sprayed them with um, like a silver mist. I've got some leaves, I've dyed a ribbon with pro markers and I've got some little butterflies to go on the other panel. Now in the base of each of the easels you're going to need something that keeps the easel open. So I'm just opening the card up and I'm using a little um, foam mat and a pokey tool and I'm just going to see where I want the easel to open and then I'm going to poke through there, make the O and I'm adding some little um, clear brads and you're just going to push that through, open the legs at the back and that's your stop for your easel. So you're going to do the same thing to each one. Now when you're adding the verse, you need to make sure that the verse is on so that it's readable. If you do it while the card's closed, you could end up with it the wrong way. So have a look where it is and add your verse so that it's readable to your recipient. And I've just added a couple of foam pads to the back and I'm just going to press that into place on the card and again it leaves just a little border all around. So on one of the easels I'm adding some little punched um, butterflies, it's just a Martha Stewart butterfly punch and I've added some pin flare along the body part to the butterfly and I'm just going to press one of them in place. Now if you bend the wings slightly Add your pin flare and then press this one into the middle of the first one that you laid down. And the other one I'm just going to put down at the bottom part. And again the second one just sits on top. And now you've got a flat butterfly underneath, but the top one you can bend the wings upwards and it looks as if the butterfly is just fluttering by. So there now are all the easels ready to add to the card. On this one the flowers were a little bit too big so I've just decided to use one of them. So I've added the silver mirror card to the base, all my easels are ready, now on the bottom of each easel I've added some foam pads, just to give a little bit of height which clears the brad that you've poked through. And you're going to take a dry run first to see where you like all the different elements on your easel card and then you can swap them around if you wish. When you're happy with it, you can remove the foam pads and you're just going to add each easel up to the edge. Leave a little border with your mirror card and pop each of the easels in place. And you're going to do that with all of them so that each of the, the, the front parts of the easels are facing outwards. So there we have the finished card and because of the size of it, it fits quite easily into an 8 inch envelope. Even if you put dimension on the card you still have room in that. And if you're going to keep the card to use later or perhaps you sell them, then put it into an 8 inch cellophane, cellophane bag just to keep it clean. And there is your card.